guys were back on the um, the rat rod build. I've got the wheels on the front axle set up and I'm just doing a bit of eyeballing and mocking up uh, in the house at the moment but I'm about to head out to the shed and start making the brackets for this uh, leaf spring here and attaching another bracket here for attaching it to the front of this chassis. So I think that'll be today's mission. I may also uh, add the links on the back of this axle here yeah. off the back of these shackles to go to the back here I'll see how I go because I've got a bit of prefabrication to go here I've got to drill some holes put mounting points in and that sort of stuff so yeah I'll see how I go I'll probably just do this for sure and then I expect the next job will be to be putting some mounting points here first before I actually do that linkage so I know what my lengths are going to be Hopefully they're going to be adjustable so I can keep this squared up if it's slightly out. So yep, out to the workshop we go. It's the next day now. I uh, had a visitor and got distracted, so pretty much stopped filming. Um, I did carry on a little bit. I uh, will take these off and I set these. Um, actually, I'll get some light. First of all, that's the um, the mounting bracket for the the leaf spring. It's a bit of a close up of that. So that's all on and yeah, it took me quite some time to make sure I had that squared up before committing to the weld. I haven't mounted it yet but hopefully it works. And then um, <coughs> after that, let's see if I can get in there, you can see where I've got these vice clamps on, vice grips. These are my old friend the push bike chain links again and I have uh, used JB Weld just to stick those on for now. These will be the mounting points for the uh, rod ends. So these have been on overnight. So hopefully they'll um, stay. Yep. So one on each side. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back out to the workshop and drill the holes. Now these are set. I'll just use these to centre. Drill the holes through the chassis rails themselves. And uh, I've got two mounting points because I'm not too sure yet. I want to use one of them but I want to give myself some options so one of these on each side uh, so the rails will mount here on the on the ball end and come forward to the uh, the axle now that gives me my three points of connectivity so we're going to get out to the workshop today drill some holes 
uh, then I can uh, mount mount the axle on the front here on the leaf spring then I've got my lengths a rough lengths and um, then I can uh, fabricate the rods so that'll be today's mission and then I think by the end of today we'll, we should have a rolling chassis that's the plan anyway the, uh, let's get out there and make some more sparks again today <laughs> two days work in the workshop got the uh, 
these drilled through and mounted properly now so I don't need the JB weld the links are mounted uh, welded onto a stainless rod onto the shackle up the front there onto the axle and the left spring is held on by the bracket and uh, same both sides so here yeah, we now have a roller the, um, these uh, brake calipers are binding up these wheels at the moment so they got to come off but I thought that might happen um, but that's good progress that's a good milestone real pleased to, to get that far so yeah something worth celebrating so yeah thanks for watching guys it's been a productive weekend in the workshop this weekend we now have a a chassis with four wheels and I'm pretty pleased about that makes a difference in the, the way it looks so yeah um, I wish I could get this thing to stop binding up kind of rolls needs a wee bit of work but not bad not bad right chaps um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next actually uh, oh that's right I need to um, put the bracket across the back here and uh, brace this rear end up and then the chassis should pretty much be done short of maybe a few tabs for uh, mounting a body so uh, we're getting pretty close to moving on to the body work so um, yeah keep watching subscribe like that sort of jazz uh, feel free to donate to the, the charity build uh, for the Cancer Society and that'll help keep the auction reserve price down on this charity build as well you know helping others and helping yourselves anyway guys cheers for watching catch us next time